St. Louis, Alpha Male Radio begins now. We, we, we want to appeal to your ears. Welcome to Complete Chaos. Are you ready? The sh- do is we're going to go to the guest line and joining us... I'm so excited about this guest. It is Helen Chen. She is an international speaker, best-selling author, and uh, folks, she is an authority on the subject of relationships. Jeff Burton, just say hello to Helen. Hello, Helen. How the hell are you? Hi. Hello, everybody. How are you? We are doing well. Uh, By the way, her books on relationships, The Matchmaker of the Century, was recently launched on Barnes & Noble. Uh, Number one best-selling book in love and romances. Number one best-selling book in relationships. Number one best-selling book in marriage. I think you know where we're going here, guys, in the direction we're going. Helen is an expert on relationships, and she's going to help men on 590 The Man. Uh, Helen, can if we get some people who text us some questions, can you answer some of those too? Of course. Okay. Go ahead. Seven four six nine seven seven four six nine seven. If you have a question for Helen, uh, Helen, biggest mistakes men make in relationships. Help us out here. Well, the most important thing is that when men love a woman, see the problem star because they're so excited and then they over treating woman too well. You see, the thing is, uh, don't so don't be so nice to woman, so say. Because when you so nice to her, why are you chasing her? Then after you marry her, you don't do the same thing. Then woman disappointed. Because it's like, hey, I remember when you're chasing me, you give me the flower, and then now you don't send me flower anymore. All right, Helen, there's already one question. Are you ready for this? Off of our texture. Uh, I'm tired of the double standards with women. They can throw out stuff from our past to push that button. But holy Lord, if we were to say anything about their weight to push their buttons, it's World War III in a month of abstinence. I'm tired of it. Equal rights for equal fights, and that's from Big Luke. <laughs> the very important thing is that you should continue to love a woman, you see. You need to keep going, you know, very, very nice to a woman. You're always sweet, just like as day one you're chasing her. You need to maintain like you love her from the day one, and you don't criticize her. Because as soon as you start to criticize her, you decrease your love and admiration to her. And then the whole thing gets worse and worse and worse and worse, and you cannot put it back. If you have a question for Helen Chen, you can send us a text, 74697, 74697. Helen is a relationship expert. Uh, we have actually some uh, some more texts coming in. Uh, I can't read that no, one. That's, that one's <laughs> no, a, no, that one's a no. no we no. want her to come back yes, on the yes. program so uh, we don't want to offend Helen, her. here, I have one right now. Um, okay. A friend of mine is a sports freak. And he's watching sports at least five nights a week, and his wife has about had it. Now, what she's doing to him to punish him for watching sports instead of paying attention to her is she is withholding sex. How can those two solve that problem? Well, the thing is that with men, you know, you want to watch the TV and all that, and you want to be crazy about whatever you want to crazy, it's okay. But you need to give a woman a some time of quality time before and after. You see, before you go to see the show or you go to play, see the, the, your game and sports, you need to really have a good attention on woman. You see, like every man has that thing. My husband do the same thing. But you should be like, a, you know, have a good quality, pay attention to her. And then after you come back, you should really, really spend your energy to her you're not like okay i'm tired see after i play the sports after i finish my fun then i go to sleep or i drunk you should actually have a quality time we're not talking about very very long time like you know the whole night or something but we're talking about you need to pay attention to make her to know she's still in part of your life you know you're not like you go you go have fun and then after that and then she has no fun you see of course she's mad of you right so it's very important you always sweet to her because women need to be constantly be talking and say something very simple just say you're beautiful or i love you or something like that but with very heavy attention after the whole day then you're gonna get your sex after that okay here's my question to or actually it's from the texture but here's here's a very valid question why do women withhold sex when there is a problem when there's an argument when one of you guys screwed up and then you're upset with each other why do women hold out on the sex because uh, if you hold out on the sex that's only going to aggravate the situation even more wouldn't you think <laughs> yeah 
yeah, of course. For the men's side, yes, it's definitely like that. But for women's side, it's like they have nothing else against you. <laughs> it's like that was the last thing they can do. I was very sad. I mean, I, I don't really looking at that way. But I understand why women like that. And also, two things. One thing is like what I say. You know, that's the only thing they could against you. But another thing is when they don't feel good about you, the woman don't want to have a sex. See, woman is very emotional. You know, if a woman feel you love her, she can, you know, give you rocking whole night long and no problem. But if she's thinking you don't love her, well, the first thing is she's shut it off. It's like a no more kiss. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> we are talking with Helen Chen. She is a relationship expert. She has written 20 books on love, marriage, divorce, extramarital affairs, how to overcome failures in life. Uh, she does it all. If you want to send a text and ask Helen a question, seven four. There's six, a couple nine, of good seven. ones over here. Uh, it's Man Card Money. I'm Brian McKenna. That is Jeff Burton. Uh, is porn cheating? What do you mean? Like watching if, porn. Like if a guy, uh, that, uh, this is a guy from Illinois, he said if, if a, a married guy or somebody in a committed relationship, if he's watching porn, do you consider that, do women overall consider that cheating? Well, it, it's uh, not really, you know. It's like uh, watch with your wife, you know. And let her know you're watching that. <laughs> it's not really... The thing is, that only if you don't talk about it and then you try to, like, withhold this and you already cut down the relationship with your wife. Yeah, but most... 90% of women, and I'm just making up that number, but most women aren't going to want to watch porn. Are they? I mean, come on. Well, it's the whole thing is this. It's like you have to let your the other half know everything you do. And you should open talk about it. You let your the other half know about your emotion. And then you're honest about it. You see, if you have some needs and wants, and then let her know. It's not really so terrible. But then if you don't want to tell her, and then you start doing that, and your relationship goes worse and worse, and then you kind of separate. And then inevitably you're going to have a love affair. And then that's the problem really, really big. All right, H Helen, how about this? Let's say... Um, a couple, their sexual t uh, taste, if you will, aren't the same. Our appetite isn't the same. And so, though she's given it up uh, three times a week, he's still not satisfied. She leaves the house. He watches porn. Let's say he just watched Schindler's Fist or something like that. Oh, that's a good uh, one. Is I don't that, know why is, they is film that, that wrong? black and white. Is I don't that get wrong? It. Or should they? Well, you see, the thing is this. Every couple so different. We don't have such a things right and wrong. You see, no such things right and wrong. It's everybody has their own culture. You have no idea, you know, some of the men even watching their wife and uh, masturbating herself or something. I mean, it's not like a right and wrong. It's like how is your culture with your wife with agreement? And do you still keep it up, love each other? That was the whole thing. Do you honor to yourself? Do you really love to each other? That is the point. It's not like what do you do with the sex or what does she go out? or what if you go out and then we try to look in a standard like a right and wrong and then try to make in the society to judge you. No, no such things. As long as you are not violating the law, you both okay. Everybody have nothing to say about it. You see, it's your business. And it's very important between you and your wife that you both love each other and it's very important you both are happy. So we're not looking about who has a sex or who has some operation or some strange things. The important thing is you need to love your wife and you need to make your wife loving you and you need to chasing each other and you need to enjoy your ch each other. That is more the direction to go. More, uh, more questions from the texture. It's blowing up here. Ask her, does size really matter? <laughs> does size never matter? <laughs> Thank goodness. Like I mean, <laughs> I was asking for a friend. That's, that's good because I can barely get friction on a Cheerio. hey -o. Uh Is it okay to spank your women after you get married? <laughs> Uh, if she like it, I mean, how do I say? You see, if she enjoyed it, but if she hates it, you know, one day she will kill you. Hel so. Helen, what about <laughs> Helen? What about you? Do you like to get spanked? No, of course not. You don't. <laughs> I like to be kissed. Okay. Well, and Helen, would you agree that I think the biggest mistake men make in relationships is that they do not cultivate the relationship. A woman will be. Uh, if if you during the week are paying attention to her and doing the little things that matter in a relationship. Towards the end of the week, I think she will be much more morally flexible, if you will. Am I, am I right? Well, this is also depends on what kind of woman she is. You see, people are very different. That's why I say the very important is that men have to be honest. You need to honest to you love this woman, and you're very honest to her, and then you also let her know you really love her, and you really need to give this love. Otherwise, for the long run, we're not talking about one week, one month. We're talking about 10 to 20 years. 
you know, then you have a marriage problem, then you have all kinds of problems. But we're talking about when you're chasing her, when you love her, and when you start going to the bed with her, now until 20 years, what happened, right? So it's very important we're looking for, you know, because men want to have a very steady family, and you may want to have a woman taking care of him too. You see, it's both sides. So if you're very honest, then the whole thing is different, because after 20 years, you can still enjoy each other. And then after 20 years, maybe sex matter is different than the 10 years, 5 years, and the 20 years ago. So that is not like a this week's problem. It's like a, you need to looking about down to the road what happened. So the sex things is like a, when you're young, you know, you're changing every five years with your sex pattern anyway. Uh, 74697 is the texture. My wife talks a good game about being with another woman while we're having intercourse. I don't think she'll ever actually do it, but how do I broach the subject when we're not having intercourse? You try to tell her, honey, seriously, how I think about this and then my feeling is. You always tell the other person very honestly, honey, I don't like it. And then why you don't like it? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you misunderstood the question <laughs> or you don't realize you're talking to a man. <laughs> <laughs> but this person is saying when he's with his uh, female, while they're in the middle of the intercourse, she talks a good game. She talks dirty about, oh, and if there was another woman here and blah, blah, blah. And how does he find out if she's serious or if she's just trying to turn him on with the sex talk? Well, the thing is, after the type of times of things, right, you need to really sit down and really talk about it. You see, it's like we always misunderstood the other person's uh, feelings and then what is really needed and wants. It's uh, You need to go over and you need to talk deep. So it's a very important, really talk about it. So afterwards, about how, so yeah. what you're saying afterwards, grab a PBR and say, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you just ask, but then don't get emotional because once you get emotional, people like Well, it. what if, would it be bad to give her a list of females you had in mind or is that too soon? <laughs> You don't need to talk so much in detail, but talk about principle. Got it. Okay. okay. Uh, Helen, uh, we just had a guy sent a text. He said, the toilet seat. What the hell's up with that? Well, it's, it depends on the personality. You see that everybody have a different group. Like, which group you sit in? That was a different type of culture, a different type of ethic level. You see, people have their own fun. That is a different type of group. So if you join the wrong group, come out. And if you're thinking that was the people in your side, well, then you guys just clip together. So you need to look who you should be with. You need to with the people who have the same interests with you. My girl seems to lose her boundaries when we drink. Is this also a sign that she does the same thing when she drinks, but she's not with me? Great yeah. question. 100% sure. Really? Oh. So if she, when she drinks with him and she goes kind of nutso bongo uh, porn star action on him, she may be acting the same way when she drinks and he's not around. Yes. That's why I tell her she only can drink with you. There you go. little oppression on the woman. There you go. Well, Helen, <laughs> look, lady, you're yes. not drinking unless I'm around you. You got it? Well, you know what, Helen? You never tell a woman that. You request that. There is a difference, correct? Not like uh, you request or not request, you see. You uh, still, you see, the thing is this. All the behavior, everybody has their own preference. And you need to find your wisdom to really find out what is your partner wants. You need to very tactically really find out what they want, and then you can do exactly what they want Bef because there's no any way like a right or wrong. Before we let you go, uh, have you ever been with another woman? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's never a good time to ask that. I don't understand. Uh, that is Helen Chen, by the way. Would she you like is to a be? uh, best-selling author and business consultant. She's an authority on the subject of relationships. For more information, you go to uh, you can go to matchmakerofthecentury.com. Matchmakerofthecentury.com. Helen has written 20 books on love, marriage, divorce. Oh, your arms divorce. must be tired. Wow. Uh, number one <laughs> best-selling book in love and romance. Number one selling book in relationships, and the number one best-selling book in marriage. And Helen, we hope to have you on more often. We. Really Really, have, just have enjoyed uh, this segment, and uh, you can help men and women get along better. I definitely want to help more men because I really help a lot of women. But the both relationship should go always both sides, and then I want to see men and women always in romance and in love. Helen, thanks so much. Once again, the website, matchmakerofthecentury.com. And if you're going to look her up, it's Helen with two L's, by yes. the way. Yes, and Thank Chen you, is C-H-E-N. Thanks so much, Helen. Thank you so much. It's fun. Bye-bye. See you later. I told you, she's gold. She yeah, is she gold. Is. We used to have her on once in a while. Uh, Gordo and I did. John Edward, do you remember when she was on? I'm telling you, Helen brings it. And, and no filter, and that's what I love. She doesn't try this... Uh, 
I don't know, this uh, real corny-ass type of well, advice. The other thing, a lot of times women like this or guys like this, whatever, people like this will try to, oh, well, I can't talk like that because I'm a serious matchmaker and I'm a sex therapist, whatever. Yeah. You know why you're on and you know why people buy your books. Yeah, she doesn't try to Dr. Phil your ass, is no, what I was uh-uh. trying to say. Uh, just listen, we'd like to get some thoughts on that last segment because we're thinking about trying to make Helen a weekly guest or maybe an every other week guest on Man Card Monday. Somebody just simply...